Hey, it's Eric from Brain and Body Health, and today I want to talk to you about a thing called neurogenic inflammation. So, if you've got chronic pain, uh, and there's a few areas in your body that it could be popping up at, and we'll talk through that later, but if you've got chronic pain and you've been seeing a like chiropractors or physios, you've tried massage, exercise, Panadol, medication, nothing's really giving you any relief, then one of the possibilities may uh, be a thing called neurogenic inflammation. So we've got these big nerves that come out of your spine, your spinal nerves, but as they start to splinter off and go into different things like muscles or organs or wherever they go, uh, some of the really small nerves that give you sensation of touch over your skin uh, are quite small and they have to thread through tight muscles and fascia on their way to, to get to skin. So the neurogenic inflammation is where if you have a chronically tight muscle that's bunching up around the nerve, what will happen is the nerve gets uh, pinched um, and then because the fluid in the cell, is the nerve cell isn't flowing as effectively as it should through that pinch point, the fluid becomes slightly acidic. Uh, so the acidity in the nerve then starts to set off uh, pain fibers uh, in the nerve, which makes you feel pain. But the problem is the pain and inflammation caused by that acidity causes inflammation and scar tissue to build up around the nerve, which chokes it even more, which will make it even more acidic, which will make it even more inflamed, which will make it more painful, which will bring more scar tissue to the area, which will choke it even more. So you can get stuck in this nasty, nasty cycle of neurogenic inflammation where the nerve is basically pissing itself off. Uh, so there's a few key areas that we'll go through now to show you where this can be happening and then we'll talk about what we need to do to get rid of neurogenic inflammation. Okay, so with neurogenic inflammation, there's a few areas where it's really common to see pop up in people. Um, and this is, there's some muscles that tend to tighten up with um, everyone. Uh, and there's a few nerves that go through these tight muscles that are prone to getting pinched and irritated and causing chronic pain in the area. So one of the big ones that we see is if your upper traps are tight, which they are for most of us, there's a nerve in the area called your supraclavicular nerve that comes out of your neck around this area, has to tunnel through your upper trap on the way to giving you sensation in this area of your, of your back. But because it has to tunnel through that upper trap, if your upper trap is too tight for too long, and it starts to pinch that nerve, you can get that um, acidity and inflammation building up in the nerve and chronic pain coming more from the nerve than any other structure. Um, one of the other spots that's really, really common is right at the base of your skull. So poor posture and plus the tight suboccipital muscles can pinch one of the nerves at the back of your head here. So that's where you know, massage adjustments, if you're still getting chronic headaches and pain in this area and it's not really changing, we may need to consider neurogenic inflammation of some of the nerves in this area to be to be the problem. One of the really, really common ones that we see very often in clinic uh, is with chronic low back pain. So as soon as your core or you've got weak core or back problems, your low back muscles through here tend to tighten up. If they get too tight, they'll pinch a nerve called your superior cluneal nerve, which is this guy. So it comes out of your back here, tunnels through that tight QL and low back muscles on the way to this area of your, of your glutes to give you sensation in that area. If that gets pinched, then you tend to get chronic pain in this area that, again, doesn't respond well to massage or chiropractic or nothing really seems to, to shift it. There's another one that goes over the top of your hip through here, iliac hypogastric. Um, there are some other really common spots, like on the in the knee pain, um, there's a saphenous nerve through there that's prone to getting irritated. But with chronic uh, neurogenic inflammation, the way that we need to approach problems like this uh, is there's a few things that we need to do. First, we need to take as much pressure off the nerve as possible. So if these muscles are tight, we need to figure out why and give you some exercise strategies to normalize core control. Same with your upper traps. We need to figure out why that muscle is tight and get rid of that tension. Because the nerve is slightly acidic, which is one of the key components to winding itself up, we import this cream from the States. Uh, it's called Prologel. Um, it's really, really effective at getting the acidity out of the nerve. There's a few other things in it, but um, alkalizing the acidic nerve helps to get rid of that, that uh, nasty loop where the nerve's irritating itself. Um, so just like trying to squeeze toothpaste out of a tube, we're using the gel and trying to squeeze the inflammation out of the nerve, being very gentle to do so. Um, but we see over a couple of visits that responds really, really well to getting rid of pain in the area if the pain is coming from neurogenic inflammation. Um, so I hope that's been informative. And if you see any of these spots and you think, oh, that sounds like me, uh, give us a buzz, 9817-6611. 
or send us an email info at brainandbodyhealth.com.au and then we can get you in and see if we can help your chronic pain. You know what would have been really cool is if I drew the number and the address (laughs) next time. All right, one thing I forgot to mention about neurogenic inflammation is there's a, a thing called peripheral sensitization. So that's where, because we're dealing with nerves, if they're getting painful and getting chronically wound up, they get really, really good and really, really sensitive at sending off those pain signals. So let's say we took a normal, healthy, everyday nerve and I whacked it with 10 kilos of pressure and that sets off a a pain response. What we find with chronic neurogenic inflammation is that you get the same pain response with a relatively minor. So if I hit it with one kilo of pressure, your nerve is going to interpret that as 10 kilos of pressure. So there's an amplification of a pain response that goes on. So that's where when we're treating neurogenic inflammation, quite often we see a dramatic and a reasonably quick change in your pain levels. But because of how sensitive the nerves are, it takes very little pressure to set them off again. So typically we see that's a big up and down as, as you're getting better and better. But that's another hallmark of neurogenic inflammation. And, but we do see over the space of a few weeks that the sensitivity in the nerve starts to go back to normal levels so that you're not stuck in this chronically wound up, uh, super sensitized pain state.